What's going on, y'all? I am Great Stone Dragon, and today I found out devastating news. They're remaking Mean Girls. Mean Girls, to me, is a movie that does not need to be remade, much like a lot of the movies that they're remaking. Leave well enough alone. Damn it, Hollywood. Why do you have to keep taking things that we love and just ruining them? You did it with Star Wars. Why are you going to do it with Mean Girls? In my opinion... It's a comedy gem. Regardless, it doesn't need to be remade, but I found out that they're remaking it. The new Mean Girls is going to come out in 2024. We have something to not look forward to in 2024. I heard there's a trailer. I have not watched it, so I'm going to watch it now. Let's see if I'm pleasantly surprised or, as I predict, extremely disappointed. If you enjoy this video, subscribe to my channel, throw a thumb up on it, leave a comment on what you think of the new Mean Girls and if it's going to be good or bad. So thanks. Okay, let's do this. January 12th, oh, okay. No. Move. Hey, PG-13, please. All right. What was that? Oh, Lord, it's the queen bee. Regina George. It's Janice. Don't look her in the eye. You could be really hot if you change, like, everything. I met a guy in the summer no. and I Welcome to health and human sexuality. We'll be getting into abstinence, of course, then followed by in the spring, condoms and choking. You're learning things now that I don't know how to teach. Oh, Jenna Fisher! Are you okay in there? We're concerned you're either doing drugs or having a toilet baby. Ew. We as women have to be able to support each other. Get in, loser. Welcome, Katie. You're never going to believe what I found this morning. Your burn book. Mom, go make snacks. For sure, for sure, Regina, yeah. Do you like gum? Sure. Oh, no, I don't have any. I, I was just... You're it's October 3rd! We'll help you, Katie. <laughs> Why are you dressed so scary? It's Halloween. Katie, if you don't dress slutty, that is slut-shaming us. That's just unprofessional. Boo! What's this? <gasps> We're gonna make her pay. <laughs> All we've done is make Regina hotter and revive the wet look. Dance break. So it's a legit job? musical. Katie pushed her. Regina really should be lifting through her glutes. Wait. Look at this thing. I can't Sexy. even see it. Like a face breast. Are Katie. you incorrect? You have to pick a French name. Chanel. No. Celine Dion. No. Beyonce. So, does Regina not get hit by the bus in this one? Are you kidding? That's like, that's just part of it. That's part of Mean Girls. Mean Girls is a phenomenal movie. It's a timeless classic, in my opinion, as far as comedies are concerned. Amazing. This is going to be the farthest thing from timeless. This will be forgotten about. Well, no, it's going to leave a bad taste in anybody's mouth who probably watches it and then will be forgotten. Hopefully, anyone who's planning on watching that movie, please do yourselves a favor. Go watch the original Mean Girls first and then maybe go watch this because then this will be even more disappointing. But you'll be like, okay, well, at least I watched the good one. This, if you go watch... No, no. See, like, listen, I was fortunate or unfortunate enough to get offered to go to see uh, the Mean Girls production on Broadway. I was so excited because I love Mean Girls. It's a great movie. Uh, so I went with my family and I got my parents to watch Mean Girls before we went. And they were like, eh, we're not that big into the movie, but we wanted to watch it so we could see what the, you know, if the musical does a good job. So we went and saw the musical and it sucked, dude. Like, it, good try. You know, they were trying to keep it somewhat true to the movie and it's just not the same. But like, you know, they did a good job. They tried. But the difference is, is like the people who were in the theater enjoying the Broadway production of Mean Girls obviously had never seen the movie Mean Girls before. And we're going and this was their first experience with Mean Girls, in which case it was fun. Yeah, good. Whatever. But for all of those of us who were in the audience, like myself, who had seen the movie beforehand and were trying to make comparisons from the musical to the movie, it fucking sucked, dude. I left there being like, this never needed, needed to be made. I don't know why they're trying to rehash this now. Mean Girls is perfect. Just leave it alone. And yet they did it. Here they are doing it again. This looks like it's going to be a full-on musical movie. Boo. And like the cast. Oh, yeah. You're bringing back Tina Fey. I love Tina Fey. She's a great writer. She's a great actress. But why? That's it. That's like It's like Toy Story 4. Did that movie need to be made? No. Did you want to make a cash grab trying to flex Keanu Reeves and put him in a pointless role in the movie? 
Yes. Did you do that? Yes. Do I care about Toy Story anymore? Absolutely fucking not. So go ahead. Hollywood, continue to try to ruin all the things that I love. That's fine. I still will hold on to the classics for what they were and appreciate them as I did in my youth. So again, this sucks. I don't want to watch it. Do you also not want to watch it? Let me know. Let me know what you think. Maybe you think I'm super wrong. Tell me about it. I'd love to hear it. Okay. Uh, yeah, subscribe to the channel and the rest of that stuff. I'd really appreciate it. Okay, love you. Bye.